Well, China reported a record low of 20 new cases and 17 deaths on Monday. Most of them are in Hubei province, where the outbreak began in December. The country's total number of confirmed cases now stands at nearly 81,000, but more than 70% of patients have recovered, while more than 3,000 have died. Well, let's bring you more on this. We're now joined here in our Nairobi studio by Professor Peter Kagwanja. He's the president and the CEO of the Africa Policy Institute. Professor, always a pleasure to have you with us. Too, um, we've just seen that uh, President Xi Jinping is visiting Wuhan for the first time since the outbreak began. This, as we know, has been the epicenter of this uh, somewhat devastating outbreak. But surely his visit is a sign of Chinese leaders' confidence that they do have this under control. Mm. Let me start by congratulating the people of China for facing what I would see as the greatest threat to their society. Had the uh, co coronavirus not been uh, contained from the word go, uh, there was a, a possibility that uh, it would have become an exi existential threat uh, to the Chinese people mm -hmm. and to humanity uh, as, as large. So, so therefore, from day one, the world walked with China step by step to see how it's going to perform. And the fact that it's rolling back the threat in a very dramatic way is beginning to give hope not only to the Chinese people but to the world at large that coronavirus is, after all, not going to be a, a, that existential threat to humanity mm -hmm. as such. Mm -hmm. It is also a statement about the capacity of the Chinese state, uh, the, the resilience of the Chinese people. It's also a statement about uh, the cohesiveness of the policy making part and the policy implementation. One example literally tell it all about how fast the hospitals were constructed uh, to contain the disease. Uh, how the new soldier in the Chinese society is the medic. The medical doctor is the new soldier, the new warrior, basically waging a war against coronavirus and winning. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that is very inspiring for, for most of us who've been watching ch uh, uh, China. And the fact that the president, President Xi Jinping, has mm -hmm. uh, decided to go to Wuhan is announcing to the world the, the victory. Basically, mm -hmm. it looks like, you know, the victory announcement, the Second World War, the mm -hmm. First World War, that we are, the, 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 yeah, there are some problems to solve, but we have almost over calm uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the disease. And so as you suggest, perhaps an almost victory announcement for China, but the situation is quite different in other parts of the world where the, d the outbreak seems to be escalating. Even here in Africa, we are seeing a growing number of cases in some countries. What do you think are the key lessons that Africa needs to take now at this stage from China in order to make sure that this outbreak does not get out of control? Now, what, has, what seems to have worked in China is not the treatment because there is no known uh, antiviral uh, treatment for the disease mm -hmm. and there is no known vaccine against the disease. What has worked are the traditional methods of uh, quarantining, curfews, prevention, isolation in order to ensure that those who have the disease don't pass it on to those who don't have. Obviously there are issues that have been raised about human rights which I think are completely misplaced because the ultimate right that human beings enjoy is the right to life. And Containing uh, coronavirus is essentially uh, entrenching the, the, uh, or championing the, the, that fundamental right. Uh, so what the lesson the other parts of the world need to learn is that you cannot defeat coronavirus until you take preventive measures. Mm -hmm. And the effectiveness of that preventive measure will also depend on how well coordinated the state is. Mm -hmm. How the government machineries how the systems go out. In Africa, it is even more telling that uh, here we are overwhelmed by other diseases. We've just recovered from Ebola. Mm. I don't know if in other parts of Africa where it's not there. Malaria is still a, a big issue here, uh, so, and so to say. HIV has been an issue we have been fighting for the last 10 years. But what seemed to be lesson coming from China is that effective preventive measures effective measures to contain a uh, contagious disease mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, can win the war even when there, there are no 
cure or let, like uh, the, the you know antiviral uh, measurements that that would be taken so we, we 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 are very proud of the, of the chinese people in yeah. terms of where they have recovered and their resilience it's, it's wonderful and let's hope we do learn some lessons from their containment practices as far as the coronavirus is concerned thank you so much uh, professor peter kagwanja joining us here in our nairobi studio